Cathedral for every surgeon after successful phacoemulsification this situation can arise i had nice surgery and was implanting an iol and suddenly noticed that the trailing haptic of the iol is broken luckily i have iol cutter in hand let's see what happened the trailing haptic got stuck into the cartridge and it has cut at the optic haptic junction so there is no way i can manage this iol in the bag with good centration so iol exchange is an only option which i have right now to tackle such situation you always need an instrument which can manage cutting the iol into multiple pieces and then taken it out with ease there are many mechanical instruments and iol cutting scissors available in the industry let's play back the video reverse and check what has actually happened here we can note silicon tip has stuck the iol trailing haptic and it is broken there now iol exchange is only the option this is a iol cutting device an innovation from dr neha dholakia she has developed it as a iol cutter but this particular instrument i have utilized for iol cutting and nucleus cutting also as a ultrasonic pre chopper the videos for same are available on my youtube channel and it works wonder there it has worked great in hard cataracts and i could cut my hard cataract pre chop them very well with this instrument now let's see the iol cutting part of the same instrument myself and patient was thinking what to do and he was moving his eyes too much so i filled up the anterior chamber with visco elastic and some amount of visco behind the iol to push the posterior capsule back my side port is usually 23 gauge so i extended it a bit so that i can introduce my micro scissor forceps in such scenarios i don't use a sharp instrument so i am using iol manipulator here which has a blunt tip to manipulate and dial the iol into the anterior chamber safely and slowly do not hurry for such cases take your time take 2 minutes break no harm plan your surgery proper have your all instrumentation on table which may be sterilized and in your cupboards so take them out slowly comfortably in my left hand i am having a micro forceps which is stout and has a firm grip over the eye now to have a very good grip is very important while cutting the eye because unless and until you hold it properly you cannot cut it properly fill the anterior chamber with visco and push back the posterior capsule also with power of 30 irrigation on with flow rate of 25 and vacuum zero i am introducing my iol cutter and very well it is going in holding it and cutting so smoothly through and through the left hand instrument is something which has helped me a lot here and i can know that because of the good grip i could do that once for the second cut i have a poor grip in the periphery and i am not able to cut the iol into the further pieces so i removed my both the instrument fill the anterior chamber had a good centration once more made the patient comfortable now to debulk the anterior chamber and have a better manipulation i removed one piece of iol which is now ready to be removed and i am removing it through a 2.6 mm incision without having any extension of incision 
first piece is removed again have a good filled up anti chamber use a slightly higher density viscoelastic in such situations that helps to protect the endothelium and push the posterior capsule behind nice and comfortably and give a more room for manipulation again the grip is not good i am not happy with this grip this i could realize once i see this video not on time i had to slightly struggle tried to push the iel towards the instrument but it was not entering the same position so i had to change the position of my left hand to have a good grip and then it can cut nicely you can note it is going slightly angular wise the cut not the linear that is because i have not changed the left hand position to further go to the distal area where it is cutting so one should always have a good hold of left hand i am just reversing the clip so that i can understand what i should have done better to do this my left hand is struggling to keep the iol in position which should not have happened so the whole game was related to the left hand and right hand was doing a nice job but left hand has to be managed well why i am pressing so much because having a proper grip with left hand is very important and many people can do mistakes with this this is same to what i can say while using a pre chopping also one has to have a left hand good grip the first cut was awesome as i can see on reverse plane one can pull the iol towards the instrument rather than taking the instrument to the periphery of anterior chamber and increasing the risk for pc tear but that depends on my experience now i have two remaining pieces in the anterior chamber which can be very well removed with the help of micro forceps hold each piece separately along its length and remove them comfortably do not rush do not hurry have all instrumentation ready and then only start doing iol exchange procedure because some special instrumentation whenever required we need to have slight more time to manage things comfortably the second iol is injected in the bag and the surgery is completed luckily i did not had much trouble in managing this case still this was my first case of iol cutting with this tool it was a great pleasure and the post op results were awesome thank you and good day Thank <laughs> you.